Hi everybody, I hope you have enjoyed the pictures of my triangular shawl and that is today's tutorial. So without further ado, um, I'm going to be using Stylecraft Special DK, it's a three weight yarn. Um, the shade is cream. I have a pair of scissors and a stitch marker. I have some darning needles to weave in my ends. And for today's tutorial, I will be using a four millimeter crochet hook. So for the yarn that I used for the shawl itself, um, the pictures show you that it's King Cole Acorn yarn and I used a six millimeter hook for it because it's Aran weight and it turned out really lovely um, with a six millimeter hook um, and the color is just really pretty. The color weight is actually called holly berries but for today's tutorial I'm just going to be using the Stylecraft DK in the color weight cream. So what you need to do is make a slip knot and pop this onto your hook and do a chain of four one two three four slip stitch into your first chain so put your hook through Yarn over and pull through both. And we have this little circle here which we are going to be working into. So what we need to do now is a chain of four. I am going to be using UK terminology so I'm going to be using treble crochets. If you were in the USA or anywhere else this is your double crochet. So we need to do a chain four, one, two, three, four. Chain three counts as your treble crochet and a chain one to create a space. Yarn over, back into the circle, do three treble crochets, one, two, And three, chain one to create a space, yarn over and do one treble back into that space. So this is what you should have. You should have your chain four that we started out with, which is your treble crochet and your chain one to create the space. Then we did three trebles, chain one and a treble crochet at the end. So what we need to do now is chain four, one, two, three, four and turn your work. This counts as a treble crochet and a chain one space. Into your chain one space do three treble crochets one, two, and three, chain one, into the center of your treble cluster from the row below, into the top of the middle stitch, we're going to do a V stitch. So that's a treble crochet. Chain two. And a treble crochet 
all into the top of that middle stitch. So this will create the point of your shawl. Chain one. So into your chain one space, three treble crochets. One. Two. And three. Chain one and into the top of your chain three, although it was a chain four, but you need to leave that chain one space. So if you count three chains, one, two, three, and do a treble into the top of that, like so. And as you can see, that's how the shawl is forming. This part here, it will go straight because this will go across the back of your shoulders. And obviously the V-stitch, this is creating the point of the shawl. Chain four, one, two, three, and four, and turn your work. So don't forget your chain four counts as a treble crochet and a chain one. Yarn over and do three trebles into the space. One. Two. And three. Chain one. Now in between this space, after your three trebles from the row below and before your first treble of your peak, you need to do three trebles. So one, two, and three. Chain one. Now into the chain two space of your peak, we're going to do the V-stitch again. So that's one treble. Chain two. And one treble back into that V-stitch chain two space from the row below. Chain one. So we need to mirror image what we have previously done. So into this space here, which is after the V-stitch from the row below and before your treble cluster there, you need to do three trebles. One, two, And three chain one so back into this space here we need to do three trebles chain one Count up three chains, one, two, three, and into the top of that third chain, we do our treble. Like so. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and turn your work. into the space, three trebles, one, two, and three, chain one, 
into your next chain one space three trebles one two and three chain one So into the space after the cluster but before the V stitch we do three trebles chain one and then we're going to do the V stitch so into the chain two space we do one treble chain two and one treble back into the three stitch space so we're creating the point of the triangle chain one so into the space after your treble from your previous v stitch on the row below and before your cluster of three trebles do three trebles chain one into the next chain one space three trebles chain one into the last space we do three trebles chain one and then we do one treble into the top of your third chain so count up one two and three there we go and do your treble crochet so as you can see that's how your shawl is progressing chain four one two three and four and turn your work back into the space three trebles one two and three chain one into the chain one space three trebles chain one into the chain one space three trebles chain one Now we're coming to the top again, so into the space before your V stitch you do three trebles. Chain one. And now we're here to do the V stitch. So one treble. chain two and one treble back into the chain two space chain one into your chain one space three trebles one two and 
three chain one into your next chain one space three trebles one two and three chain one into your next chain one space three trebles one two and three chain one and we're coming to the end of our row so into the last space we do three trebles one two and three chain one and into the top count three chains one two three and do one treble to finish your row so as you can see we have a lovely straight edge here and a really pretty v-stitch going up the middle i'm going to do one more round with you so i'm going to chain four one two three and four and turn my work three trebles back into the chain space one two and three chain one into the next chain one space three trebles one two and three chain one into the chain one space three trebles one two three chain one into your next chain one space three trebles one two and three chain one into the space before we get to the v-stitch three trebles one two and three chain one and here we come to the v-stitch so we do one treble chain two and one treble back into the chain two space chain one so into the space after the treble there and your three trebles there we do three trebles one two and three chain one into the next chain one space three trebles two and three chain one into your next chain one space three trebles chain one into your next chain one space three trebles
chain one and into your last space we do three trebles Right. chain one and in and then count your chains one two three and then to the top of your chain three one treble so as you can see this works up quite quickly which is really good if you really want a an easy pattern this is this shawl can be made quite quickly with um this stitch and you can do lots of shawls quite quickly so um i hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial if you have, um, please consider subscribing to the channel. It is free to do so. And hit the notification bell for when I next upload another video. Could be a tutorial, could be something else. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you all soon. Bye.